Okay, so if you're a little squeamish and don't particularly like looking at rabbits that are processed and getting ready to be cooked, this might not be the video for you. So you're not gonna hurt my feelings if you turn it off now. If you wanna see how I'm going to cook these, stick around and I'll show you. Look at this beautiful rabbit. So this one has just come out of the rotisserie. Let's see if I can get this off. Everything is super hot. So I need to be careful. Make sure I don't burn myself. But this is what we're going to be doing today. You have this arm stuck. If I can get them out for you. Beautifully cooked rotisserie rabbit. This is gorgeous. I'm gonna put him on a plate over here. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do the next one. Let's set this over here. I wanted to get that one out because I'm gonna have raw meat on the counter and I wanted to get the cooked meat out. So then I can have the raw meat and then bleach all this and clean it up. So that's why we're going in this order. Okay guys, you've been warned. If you're squeamish, this is not the video for you. So this is a rabbit that we butchered this week. Um, it has been in a ice bath for three days. So he should be nice and tender now. Now I have to wash my hands. Because I touched the raw rabbit with my right hand and I'm gonna use that one to do the seasoning. So I'm just using regular seasoning salt on this guy. Just a light coating. Try to get it down the middle. And this is garlic powder. This kind of comes out in clumps, so it'll be okay. Not gonna worry about it too much. Let's flip him over. Try to keep this hand clean. <laughs> it's always, um, it's just always weird dealing with raw meat. You want to try to keep everything clean as possible just to avoid any any problems all righty once i get this done then i can use both hands and it's not an issue i just don't want to contaminate my seasoning my seasoning jars there we go i'm gonna move these because this is gonna take a little bit of work. And like I said, I'm gonna to have to clean and sterilize this whole thing when we're finished because it's gonna have raw rabbit meat everywhere, but that's just part of it. So I'm using the basket because um, the, like the chicken rotisserie is just this part and that's not gonna work with our rabbit unless I tied them on there. So, you have to maybe use a little bit of muscle with this. Let me move this out of the way. But we have to fit him into this basket. So we're gonna have to kind of fold his legs up a little bit. His front legs go like this. And this basket sits over top. There's little notches on either side of this basket that this fits in. So I'm going to put it in that one, put it into that one. And this rabbit is a little bit smaller than the last one. So he fits nicely. I don't have to really try to squish him or get him in. Now there's little hooks right here that this goes into. And you see, he's gonna drip everywhere. Again, it's just part of it. I'm gonna have to clean it when we're finished. So 
So you want to line it up with this and this. This goes here. And now it's ready to go in the rotisserie. Here we go. He's in the rotisserie now. We're going to go ahead and close this up. Over here, we're going to turn, on, turn it onto normal rotation. We're going to let him cook for about an hour and a half. The last 10 minutes, we're going to put it on this no heat rotation. And that just helps all those juices to sit in. So he's going to be spinning for a little while. And I'll show you what it looks like in the end. So here is our finished rabbit. Everything looks really, really good. That looks amazing. So I had my son over here with me. He was supposed to help me do the end credit and show you how good the rabbit is, but he left me. He's standing over there. The rabbit is delicious though. The cat likes it too. He gave the cat a bite. Anyway, that's it for today. See you next time. Bye. Slap that like button. <laughs> yeah.